everybody and welcome back once again. I'm on stop number two. It's week two and game two is on the horizon. I'm in the Riverdale Field House and I've got with me the head coach of the Riverdale Warriors, head coach Will Kreisky. How you doing today, Coach? Good night. In here in your in your secret quarters where you make all the final yeah. decisions of the Riverdale Warriors. Uh, last Friday night, Stork Vision was out at your I place. Appreciate y'all coming. We had a great time. We had a great time, and you provided a great atmosphere, and uh, was able to come away with the win. Talk a little bit about the game, coach. Uh, you know, I thought our guys uh, ex executed offensively pretty well. We thought Brandon Graham, you know, you could tell him another year in the offense, another year with Coach Barnes. I thought he was able to uh, have some success early. You know, Smyrna's got a young team. Yes. Uh, so I think that uh, helped us with, uh, with us keep going. You know, I mean, they're all new guys running around, and. Uh, you know, I thought our receivers did really well. They ran really good routes. You know, Wife had a touchdown. Keyshawn had two. Dandy had one. Um, you know, so he was able, able to get the ball around. You know, I don't know the last time we just thrown five touchdown passes. Too. You know, it's been a while. It really has. And, you know, uh, used all his weapons, spread the ball around, let everybody have a little bit of love. And then I thought your run game wasn't too bad. You picked up some nice... Uh, Nice ground, yardage, and some real estate by running the ball. Yeah, I thought uh, DJ, you know, Dominic Taylor, I thought he did a good job, and Isaiah Mercer, different different style of running. But I thought, Very different style of running. I thought them both did well running the ball, but I really wanted, you know, I thought the offensive line played well. They did. They uh, did. They protected your quarterback yeah. well. I mean, he didn't get, I mean, he got pressure at times, but he wasn't to the point where he was frustrated he couldn't get his pass no, on. And he, he did a better job stepping up in the pocket and making some play. There was a third and forever, uh, right, right before half, after we had a holding call that he stepped up and was able to connect with Keyshawn uh, to get us in to get that score of Bandy, uh, Brandon Vanderbilt. So, you know, I think overall you saw much improvement. Now, we still got a long way to go. Yeah, you just cleared up some penalties. penalties. Yeah, had some penalties. The kids got a little too excited and they waved the first down and that's not allowed anymore. Um, but I'd rather, you know, we're learning and moving on, you know. Get that out first game, yes. and then we don't have that at a place like when you're on the road, because yeah, it can yeah. really hurt you when you're it can suck the air out of it. Yes, it can. You know, we got tough battle this week. Uh, you know, I thought our defense played well also. Uh, they did a good job uh, putting pressure on their quarterback. You know, again, they knew quarterback. They well, had three quarterbacks. Yeah. Right now. Uh, you know, Thomas Jones played against us last year. Yeah. And he did a good job uh, last year. I thought uh, all three of those guys were different. You had a good different mix, but our guys never gave them time to settle in and get in there, get in there with them. So, uh, again, it was a good game, not a clean game. we got to get better. We've already picked those mistakes. Now we got a tough Indian County opponent who's been to the semifinals last three out of four years. So, you know. How long a trip is it, Coach? It's about two, two and a half hours. And that's that, that's a hard bus ride, too. Yeah, yeah. We'll go down 840. Okay. And then get off at the Camden uh, exit. Okay. Um, and then once we get off the Camden, it's a straight shot to Henry County. Okay. Okay, so you made the trip a few times. Yeah, 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 a few times. Uh, this week's a little bit different because, like you said, we're here inside, and it's been kind of one of these really extreme heat weeks. Uh, when did you get the word and, uh, when they said, you know, you guys don't need to be outside this week? Which, well, uh, you know, yesterday about 1 o'clock, we got an email. You know, Sunday that we all put a plan together because we knew it was coming. And then we got an email uh, Monday at 1 o'clock that nobody could be outside past 7. Uh, so yesterday we changed some things around, went to the gym for a little bit, then we had a freshman game. And then this morning we brought them in at 6 and went to 8 o'clock, and they went to class at 8.30. How'd that go? It was good. It was a lot better you know, than I imagined. And I think the kids enjoyed it. We brought them in after school, and we did a special teams review, uh, some special teams meetings. And then we did another film session, and then they went on their way about five, a little after five. So, you know, it's a different schedule, but I think the change helps. You know how kids, they kind of get bored, and I think it's a good little change up. Some of them are like, man, we need to do some more, because they get a little bit more free time after that. That's exactly right, and that's what that's what Richie Busby said from Helena. You know, it gives them time to maybe go get a haircut or do yes. something they need to do that they can't really do because football, 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 and then Friday night, and then you end up on Saturday and you're tired and you're squeezed for some of, some of the personal things you may need to get done or go to the dance, get your teeth yeah. cleaned, anything like that. Exactly. So it's giving them more time. And, uh, you know, a lot of them will probably go home about 7.30, 8 o'clock, laying that bed and probably fall asleep tonight. Oh, yeah. Parents might be thinking of something a little bit, you know, in bed a little bit earlier. 
Uh, speaking of special teams, I thought Khalil Armand did an awesome job Friday night, and uh, you're a holder. Uh, and, and it was really something, you know, he realized, I'm not going to be able to get it down, and they're coming quick, so I'm just going to do a jailbreak with it myself. Smart move. You got in the end zone, got your two points there on that end uh, at the beginning of the game. He did, and Luke Smith, you know, I, I bragged on Luke Smith in you know, a team meeting on Sunday. Luke Smith uh, has bought in. He's played quarterback since he's been here. Uh, and I always begged him to play in the second game. And uh, last one, last Friday night, we got ten over ten reps in, at corner. Uh, we had a corner get banged up, and Braylon Vanderbilt stepped up to play some corner last week. Uh, do some, you know, we had some Fuqua. Yeah. Had, had a little uh, ankle issue and, uh, and was out. So uh, Vanderbilt, Braylon Vanderbilt, and Luke Smith rotated in the corner. And Luke got over ten reps. If you had told me last spring that Luke was going to play week one, game one. On defense, I probably thought you were crazy. Oh, uh, and, and he's an athlete. And you saw with that yeah. old what he can do, and you know he's really uh, this. That's some good quality veteran corner. Really helps this team. That that's what you want out of kids. Team player. I I said, look, you may need your corner. He looked at me and said, I'll do whatever you say, coach. That's all you can ask. Yeah. And I don't know if you noticed Ryan Edmonds. All he did was punt Friday night. Right. Because he had a little uh, bruise that, that the doctor just told him it'd be better to not take any hits. Uh, if you watched him on the sideline, he was coaching or cheering the entire game, nonstop. Wow. wow. And those two kids I bragged on with some of them, you know, that's, that shows, you know, that they're totally bought into the program. Henry Kelly, what, what, what do they like to do? What are they going to want to do to you? they got to be quarterback. You yeah, know, okay. That kind of reminds me of that Wayne kid at Summit a few years ago. Okay. Not, maybe not as explosive, but powerful. They run. They like to run that quarterback. Quarterback read, quarterback power. Uh, they got a big line. 6'2", 6'3", you know, 250, 250. So your line's going to get tested, and yeah. you want that to happen yeah. early because you want to find out what kind of line you got. Yeah, and, and, and you know, both sides of the ball are big. And, and, you know, I tell our kids, man, we signed up to play this game because we're going there. It's a hostile environment. I want to see how you handle it. Yeah, I think that's great. Because because you you know when region you play what you're going to get. You're going to get a hostile environment with Rob Bell, Blackman, Siegel, Oakland, you know, all of them. Smart, Coffee like, County's not going to be easy either. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to be easy. So I felt like we needed a few of those games before we ended our region play. Uh, any last minute logistics that you'd like to let the fans know? What time are you leaving to go to? to uh, we'll leave around 1 o'clock on Friday, uh, but they have pushed the game back from 7 to 7.30 due to the heat. Okay. So the kickoff time won't be until 7.30. So kickoff at 7.30 at Henry County. What's the name of that stadium? Uh, Patriot Stadium. So Patriot yeah, Stadium? Yeah, yeah, they, so you've, uh, you've played the Patriots before. Forward, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, the last time I was there, I think me, Coach Creasy, I was on the sideline playing, and Creasy was on the sideline coaching me. So it'll be, it'll be crazy. So old, old yeah, my brother was back on the sideline with me, so it'll be. Uh, how, how many old friends you think you'll see Friday night? Uh, I, I've already got quite a bit of texts and phone calls saying they're excited and we're ready, ready to come. So, so you, uh, you'll come back. You won't stay. You are. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back. At You're night. coming home. Yeah, yeah. With the kids, you know, they got stuff, things to do. So we'll come on back at night. Uh, it'll be a long trip, long, long, long Saturday, long weekend, but uh, it's football season. All right, kids, you heard him uh, Friday. That's going to be a two-and-a-half-hour trip by car. And uh, ride over there to Henry County and watch Riverdale Warriors kickoffs at 730.